Inhale our right leg up. Exhale, bring that foot between the hands. Once again, open up into warrior two. We're gonna set up for triangle. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, bring your right leg straight. Establishing your firm foundation. Imagine your sits bones are coming together underneath your pelvis, pulling your belly button up against the spine. Inhale. And on the exhale, I want you to just move your hand forward. You don't have to tilt your hips back. Just move forward towards your right foot. And then slowly allow the hands of your clock to fall. So we are at right hand at six, left hand at 12. And while you're in this pose, focus on opening up the heart center by rotating the chest slightly up. Focus on that inner spiral of the right thigh, bringing your kneecap to the sky. Pulling those sits bones together underneath, engaging your mulabandha. And just feel that freedom. Inhale, exhale. Now we're gonna move into revolve triangle. So place your left hand on the floor, bring your left foot in slightly, toes facing forward, and then go ahead. First start with your hand on your right hip. Pull your right hip back in space and pull your left hip forward to square off your hips. Then rise up your right hand as you twist your whole body into this pose. Moving your whole torso to the right, twisting from the center of the core. Inhale, exhale. One more inhale, exhale, drop your right hand down. If you need to shorten your stance slightly, you can, but we're setting up for pyramid pose. So in pyramid pose, once again, pull that right hip back as you bring your left hip forward. Drawing the crown of your head forward and then descend over your leg. You can keep a micro bend to your right knee. If that is what you need, I recommend that for everybody actually. Go ahead and rise up to a flat spine, drawing the crown of your head forward. And then I have a challenge for you. Take your hands out in front and then rise up one unison movement. Ha! Ah. And then just focus again on drawing your right hip back as you bring your left hip forward. And on the exhale, bring your hands down. You can place them either on your Sacroiliac joints, you can have two fists in the back. You can go into reverse prayer as far up your back as works for you. And go ahead and inhale. And on the exhale, draw your shoulders down your back as you allow your chest center to rise towards the sky, creating a little bit of an arch in the back. One more inhale, exhale. Let's move forward now over our right leg. Drop your hands to the ground. Bend your right leg as we set up for warrior three. So bending your right leg using the strength of the thigh to lift you up. Start off initially with your hands on the mat. If you prefer to keep them on the mat, you may do that. The next variation is to rise up and have them so that they are traveling backwards towards your feet. If you're feeling very ambitious, you can bring them forward. Inhale, exhale. One more inhale, exhale, hands down with control. Drop your foot back. Rising back up into warrior two. <sighs> it's a lot of work on the outside of that right thigh. Let's go ahead and set up for extended side angle, taking our right forearm and placing it on our knee. You can also, if you want, 
drop it all the way to the ground. And in this pose, you get a deeper, straighter line if you drop your hips by bending your right knee more deeply. Bring your left hand to the sky or alongside your ear, focusing on drawing your heart center towards the sky by rotating your left shoulder back. And while you're doing that, draw the crown of your head in the same direction as your toes. One more inhale, and then exhale. Go ahead and place your left foot on the floor. Get up on your left toes, push your right hand on the floor outside of your left foot, and bring that back into plank. Inhale, exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale into upper facing dog. And then exhale into downward facing dog. <sighs> Feel all that blood rushing back into the right leg. You got this. Inhale, bring your left foot up. Exhale, bring it in between the hands. Opening up again into warrior two. Inhale, straighten out your left leg. Pull your sits bones together underneath the pelvis to create a stable base, pulling your belly button in against the spine. As we set up for triangle, inhale. And then exhale, moving your hands forward towards your left toes, and then allowing your left hand to gradually descend to the ground. Moving your crown of your head forward, creating as parallel an experience as you can with your torso to the ground. If it's difficult to reach the ground, you may choose other modifications, such as placing your hand on your shin. Focusing on tucking your tailbone, pushing your hips forward just a little bit to square them off. Spiraling your inner left thigh so that your kneecap will face the sky. And then spiraling your entire chest to open up your heart towards the sky. One more inhale. And then exhale, we're setting up to revolve triangle so you can bring your right foot in slightly if you need to. Right hand on the inside of your left foot. Some people choose the outside, but my shoulders don't allow for that. Placing your left hand on your left hip and then opening up to the left. Pull your hips to the right while you're doing that. And then rise your left hand to the sky. Using your core muscles, your inner spiral of your core, to rotate from the center of the core so that your left shoulder is stacked on top of your right. I probably should have put in a ponytail. My hair is all over my face. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale, place that left hand down on the outside of your left foot if you need to shorten your stance slightly for pyramid, you may. Inhale, pulling your shoulder blades onto your back, pulling your left hip back as you bring your right hip forward. Drawing the crown of your head forward in a flat back. And then exhale, descend down over your left leg. Remembering all the time to try to pull your shoulder blades back onto your spine. It makes it a healthier, stronger forward fold when you do that. Breathing softly with control, inhaling and exhaling with the same control. And then inhale, we take the challenge, rising our hands up, our whole body in unison. And then exhale, bringing our hands down, either to the sacrum, to a fist or reverse prayer. I have to shorten my stance slightly to get some stability. There we go. Inhale. And then on the exhale, begin to bring your shoulder blades down your back, widening your collarbones as you allow your heart center to curl up to the sky. Inhale, and then exhale with control, 
folding once again over that leg. Allow your hands to release and descend to the floor, bending your left leg as we set up for warrior three. So right now my legs are in warrior three legs. My hands are on the floor. This is a perfectly acceptable place to be if this works for you. If you want to make it more challenging, you can rise up, bring your hands so that they are facing your leg. Again, remember to rise the chest up and pull your shoulder blades down your back and then bring your hands forward. This is challenging on a hill. One more inhale, exhale to send those legs down, drop back with control, open up into warrior two. Ah, 